what's going on guys beastful here with another mother effing video we're here at south shore about to train chest today is sunday we're moving our sessions back a little bit because today and tomorrow i took off from amazon just to get you know the house kind of like all cleaned up before my parents come home this next wednesday so we're going to probably be here at south shore for the next two days so or in your case the next two videos today is a pretty chill day uh, nothing too crazy happening i had just had a check-in this morning with jared and we woke up at a new low uh, 143.5 and we're getting down there we're getting down at the scale and we are approximately eight weeks out um, like i said in the last video and it's crunch time. I am mentally preparing myself for Jared to send me a text changing things uh, because, I mean, I've said this on multiple on multiple videos already, but yeah, he just wants me to be ready early, so which means these next few weeks are gonna be hard. But that's not on the agenda today. We're gonna get locked in uh, as much as we can and just have a great workout. This topic of the video is, I'm not gonna talk about it now, but later on when I talk about it, it's a topic that I was actually thinking about ever since, you know, my birthday this past Friday. And this whole weekend I was thinking about it. I made a couple Instagram posts about it. So yeah, we're gonna go pretty much in depth with it. Every time I come to the gym, I always try to kind of like mentally prepare myself, kind of like tell myself that today is a good day and we're gonna have a great workout. Because at the end of the day, we don't wanna come in here um, kind of like telling ourselves that we're tired, we're exhausted, uh, because that's going to affect our session and sessions are pretty important you know going uh, leading into the show so uh, so yeah we're just gonna get locked in so we're not gonna waste any time let's get our mind right let's get our body right and you already know let's get this shit this fit that we have for the gym today is actually pretty fuego and also with me being exhausted and tired the gym fits have to be on point so I actually feel good about myself. But yeah, we're gonna break it down. We're gonna start from the bottom all the way to the mother effing top. So we have our Jordan 1s. Again, don't butcher me if I don't know the names. We have our cup noodle socks, which are probably one of my favorite socks that I have. We have the Young LA graffiti mesh shorts that I got when I went to Houston. Shout out to LT. We have the Bushido Code Lost Designs uh, T from Dark Sport with the back. The back is my favorite part for sure. We have a old, like an OG Dark Sport Wolves bodybuilding. Uh, you guys have seen me wear this, but I actually made it into a cutoff. So we're gonna use that for uh, the tank for today. And then we have the Bulls, the Bulls, hat the dad hat to top it all off so all pretty bright fit today and show off the legs really quick fire and now we're going to go to incline smith and then we're going to go on with the session so so yeah let's get get going
sorry guys, that was probably the hardest sets of incline thus far during this prep, but shout out to Kyle and Joe, man. They're always, whenever they're here and when it, and kind of like time kind of lines up because essentially I, I train alone most of the time. So I don't really have a training partner. So when, you know, timelines kind of connect between me, Kyle and Joe, it's just a vibe because they always, every single time they always push me. So those were definitely the hardest sets of incline, but it's what I need going into the show. Like my energy is going to be low and you know, sometimes my drive and my motivation to go to the gym is going to be low. So having those people around you, no matter who it is, having those people around you kind of like push you each and every set is very needed. So, so yeah, shout out to Kyle and Joe. Also guys, I just want to say something. Shout out to Ashlyn, because she got me this, she got me this bracelet, dumbbell, uh, dumbbell bracelet, beaded. She has a matching one, so shout out to the bestie. But she got me this necklace as well. What it says, it kind of reminding me when everything's get hard. It says, when you feel like quitting, think about why you started. That right there, I always, I always think about that, right? So like, whenever things get hard, like whenever I do cardio, or even just on days that I, that I don't feel like doing anything, and things are getting really hard, or you know I'm tired, hungry, I always think about either summer shredding, like day of the show, but mostly it's all about, I think about why, why I'm doing it. I said this in Friday's video, my birthday video. Like I, I, I essentially do it for the people that support me. Do it for the people that, that are in my corner. Do it for the people that want to see me win. Um, so, so yeah, that's what I do it for. on the Panada decline. Before we start off uh, this second to last set, I kind of wanted to touch on the topic of the video and the topic that I've been thinking about ever since my birthday. The thing is about prep, it's very like copy and paste every single day. You guys have heard me say this multiple times. The thing that we lose sight of is basically the progress and the uh, progression each and every day. There are times that, you know, body dysmorphia is going to hit us and, you know, obviously the energy levels are going to die out, so on and so forth. And we kind of lose sight of the good and the positive. And what I kind of thought about ever since the beginning and I actually recently because of you know stresses and stuff like that started to hit me but I started to think about finding the wins each and every day finding what I can be proud of each and every day and also even just waking up and looking myself in the mirror even though that I might look out of shape in my eyes or I look tired or I feel tired I've recent, I've not recently, but basically I've been looking at myself in the mirror and say that how proud I am about all the stuff that I've done and, and how disciplined and how driven I've been throughout this whole prep. Like there wasn't a time that I kind of slipped up. There wasn't a time that I didn't, well, obviously there was times that I didn't want to do anything, but during those times I still did what I needed to do. And that vibe isn't going to stop, but 
waking up every single day and telling yourself that you're proud of the work that you're, you've been putting in, even though your body tells you otherwise, that's, that's a win in itself. There are wins like, you know, you, you lifted something bigger than last week or uh, the number on the scale is lower, so on and so forth. But the thing is, is like that is not always going to be the case. But what you can control is how you make yourself feel, how proud you're, you can make yourself because of what you've done. So I can say right now, we're eight weeks out, and I can say right now that I am proud. I am proud of everything that I've done thus far, and I am proud of the discipline I've built and the drive that I've built throughout this journey. And it's not gonna stop, and honestly, the, the discipline that I've built throughout this time is going to transfer in multiple preps down the line. And even maybe if I do step back on the platform, it's going to, it's going to go on to that. So yeah, guys, don't be so caught up in the numbers game. Don't be so caught up in how your strength might increase or decrease, how the scale might increase or decrease. Just control how you make yourself feel how proud you make yourself feel and how happy you can make yourself feel on the little things during during this journey. And I can guarantee that's going to help you more than anything else. So, so yeah, be proud of yourself guys because other people see it, but at the end of the day, you sleep on your own pillow. And if you don't tell yourself that you're proud, then you're not gonna let anyone else's words kind of matter, so. So yeah, guys. Alrighty guys, so we just got home from the movies. Shout out to Jale because he went to go see Fast 10 with me. And let me tell you, I rate that movie eight and a half to nine out of 10. I'm not gonna go too in depth on like a review, but all I'm gonna say, if you guys have watched one through nine, uh, maybe a couple times each, you're going to see how different aspects of those movies are brought to the first part of the finale and as you guys know or may not know there are there are going to be more than a two-part finale it's probably going to be a three-part finale or a trilogy as Jale taught me tonight I love the movies I've watched one through nine probably at least twice each and I, honestly a big reason why I bought a challenger was because of those movies because I've, I loved the look of uh, Dom's Charger and honestly the only car that I wanted had to look like a Charger and it's Challenger. That's why I always wanted to have one. That's not how I wanted to end off the video and um, actually shout out to Alir. Shout out to Alir because it was his birthday today and he turned 30 so shout out to him. Um, and shout out to his girlfriend Amanda for inviting me to uh, the little get together that they had. So yeah, shout out to them too. But let's end off the video with a proper outro, guys. I just wanted to resummarize on what we talked about uh, during our session today. It's just how crucial you waking up every day and looking yourself in the mirror and you being proud of the work you you have put in and the work that you put in without any hiccups because that builds more than just you being proud of yourself it builds drive and it builds and it builds um, discipline and it also shows you how much of the, your goal means to you like again your goal doesn't have to mean so much to other people but it has to mean a lot to you but yeah, I don't want to make this last clip uh, super long. I just wanted to resummarize that because um, honestly, I, just to reiterate of what I what I said during the session, there's not a day that has went by or is going to go by that I'm going to wake up and say that I'm proud of myself. Be there are going to be times that I'm going to be tired. There are going to be times that I don't want to go to the gym, do cardio, or even eat. But I know for a fact that my end goal, summer shredding, my show day is going, is the most important thing to me. So yeah, I'm sorry that I'm, uh, if you guys are annoyed that I repeat myself a lot in these videos, or I kind of say the same thing throughout this whole series. 
But honestly, guys, a lot of the things that I, that I say and kind of repeat is just to show you guys that I think about it on a daily basis. And I want you guys to kind of replay it and replay these topics in your mind because they help way more than what you think. Being proud of yourself, being building that discipline, building that drive every single day in order for you to achieve uh, your goals. So, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Stay positive, stay motivated, and I'll see you guys in the mother effort next one. Peace.